decided that I am with great enthusiasm going to endorse Joe Biden for President of the United States. I believe in Joe. I really believe in him, and I have known him for a long time. Now, please send $10,000 in unmarked bills <laughs> so that my family can see me again. I'm very happy to be here. I don't understand why Kamala Harris shot this hostage-style video <laughs> to show her support for Joe Biden. It looks weird. It really does. I bet even the Taliban is looking at this video like, we had better lighting and we were in a cave. <laughs> much better, much better. Also, it's a little strange for me. I'm not gonna lie, American politics is a little strange. Like, how's Kamala gonna endorse Joe Biden and not acknowledge that she once called him a friend of racists who opposed integrated public schools? Like, for me, you have to at least say, look, I know we've had our differences, but... or something like that. Otherwise, you make it seem like we're crazy. It's like you're gaslighting her. Just like I've known him for a long time and he's great and the, during the debates, oh, that was different. <laughs> this is like when you were a kid. Do you ever sleep over at a friend's house and then you could hear their parents screaming at each other in the next room and then they'd come out like, hey, you guys want pizza for dinner? <laughs> and you're like, uh, are we not gonna acknowledge that Dateline NBC shit that just went down? <laughs> All right, cause I'll have pepperoni. All right, but let's move on to some international news. Because while America only has to worry about one presidential inauguration next year, over in Afghanistan, they're dealing with two. In Afghanistan, two different politicians who both claim to have won the presidential election are staging their inauguration ceremonies. Ashraf Ghani, the first to be sworn in as president, has been Afghan president since 2014, and the country's election commission say he won a second term in September last year. We are hearing Mr. Ghani has made his inaugural speech. When that happened, several explosions happened nearby, and we've just had the footage through. Have a listen. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't know what's crazier. That two people say they're the president or that while this guy is giving his speech, <laughs> explosions are shaking the building and he just keeps on going? <laughs> it's like, as I was saying, <laughs> I'm very happy to be your president. <laughs> so now Afghanistan is in a sticky situation because two people are claiming to be the president. Yeah, no one knows what to do. If you ask me, we should just get Maury over there to solve this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, just be like, you are not the leader. Oh! <laughs> Although at the same time, why, why, do, why do we fix this? It's not the worst idea to have two presidents. We've never thought of it. Maybe we should just, you know, we should have, like, presidents should have day shift and night shift. Maybe that could be a new thing. <laughs> yeah, it could be easier for the presidents because then they could avoid the blame for bad news. People would be like, Mr. President, the people are starving. It's just like, oh, look, I just clocked in. I, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like a night shift problem, sorry. <laughs> All right, and finally, as you know, yesterday was the beginning of daylight savings time. It's the day when all the clocks leave the microwave clock behind. <laughs> and daylight savings has already had its critics, but now it looks like people in power have also had enough. Florida Senator Marco Rubio is calling for people to reach out to their representatives and senators and ask them to lock the clock and support his bill to make daylight saving time permanent. It's time to go permanent daylight savings and end this once and for all. We have a bill to do that. Let's see if we can get it done this year. This is stupid. Remember, uh, call your member of Congress, uh, your senator, and tell them to uh, stop this changing of the time and lock the clock. Okay. Why do all American senators shoot selfies like hostage videos? <laughs> what is this? What's going on? Dark halls, bare walls, weird lighting. I'm starting to think the coronavirus might be worse than they're telling us, and every senator is already in a fallout shelter. <laughs> you know, like Rubio is just faking us out with this video. Yeah, daylight savings, uh, am I right, guys? Let my family in, then seal the doors! <laughs> I mean, are we really gonna turn back the clocks? Just shoot them! Shoot them! We don't have enough grain! Anyway, guys. And another thing. Why is Senator Marco Rubio telling us to call senators? Like, bitch, you work there. Tell them yourself. <laughs> you got corona out in these streets. You got shit to deal with. <laughs> 